Hey guys, she's in here. Um, I just thought I would um, make a like a sewing case, like a needle book case. I made this one a while ago um, and I didn't end up putting it in any of my playlists. I thought sewing playlist or whatever. Um, so I thought I would use the bits and pieces I've got left over here. These are my little leftover bits and pieces from this kit because in this kit you get one quite a big piece of the um where is it this this piece here which was it's probably about the length of the page but it's um probably about half the size or three quarters of the size so i was thinking i might make a like one that you can fold over three times because that's what you can do you know open it up like that like that so what i'm going to do is i will cut it up sorry if there's glare which it probably will be so how wide is this thing it's about eight so i'm thinking maybe we go six i think six is good that way it's a little bit smaller than that but um okay so i'm going to cut that six um and even if you had five it would be okay as well so most of the bits that are in the pack uh already probably about this width where are we sometimes it's not i think i need a new blade so um, yeah, I've got a few things that I need to do. I've still got to finish off my pink vintage um, piece, so I can't really film that until that's done. And move uh, this away. Okay. Um, what else have I got to do? Oh, I get crap on here. What else? Um, and then I had a, a lady who. Um, who bought this pack and she said she was going to make a needle case and I said oh yeah I've done a needle case and then I went to investigate whether I'd filmed it or not and I think I have but you have to really search down I didn't put it in the playlist so I thought oh, well I might make another one um, from the beautiful bits and pieces that I've got so they're fairly simple to make um, you know make a couple of little pockets um, I will probably definitely make use this as a pocket quite like that so everyone gets that piece in there they also get this and where are we this piece so these are leftover pieces I actually quite like the fabric I think that's really pretty so I do want to um I might have that on the inside because I would actually really like to um you know maybe do a bit of slow stitching stuff on there I quite like that and then we get you to use a bit of a bias or something like that on the end so I'll move that out the way but so this is what you can do using the bits and pieces from your kit probably a little big but that's all right okay get some pretty bits so, best way to do it is to open up your piece like this. Um, and get out the bits and pieces. Some really pretty. Actually, I should. This is why I've always put this one on here, just so I know where I need to film. There we go. Put that on there. Uh, and I went for my little stash of stuff here as well um, so what have we got I really do like this it's so pretty this piece Isn't that gorgeous um, 
and this it's the only piece I've got left of that oh how pretty it's almost perfect maybe I should put that on the inside that's probably not a bad idea so you do all the sewing and then we're gonna have so I'll, I'll put that on the inside and then I'll do the edge because it's just almost like it's made for it how good's that so that'll be on the inside and then I've got some other bits I've got this these bits so I might use some of that okay not really matter you're not going to see that bit of that tiny bit of this what else we got I mean there are more pieces in there but um, oh I do like this these bits I might pinch some of that off there and I like that fabric as well yeah I do like that I'm wondering put a bit of that here Sorry, just going to cut some of that. So this is just the auditioning piece. Yep. I was actually thinking put pins and needles that I'll put there. So I'll, sti I'll be stitching that. Um, so you get a piece like like that. That was the only piece that only had a plain. Um, I don't mind that greeny colour. I think I've got some of that green colour up there, which I'm going to grab. There we go. That's that part there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pull some of this off. I like the actual fabric. I don't want the thickness. So... what you can do when it comes to that there we go give it that tad vintage look quite like it I'll pinch that bit of fabric and then just cut that off. It is good when when you use this that texture when you're putting it in um, pieces. I do love that. That's so pretty. That might even make a nice um, bit of flower to to do. Right. You're probably going, no, what are you doing cutting it like that? Oh well, that's how it is. Um want those ones. Quite thick this piece of fabric, but it is very pretty. I do like it. Quite 
like that. So, got this. Um, definitely going to go on the inside on the pocket. Got some plain pink. Which everyone gets those. Now, I'll keep that for something else, but I will use some of that. See how that works? Yes. And we've got chairs. Oh, it does. That tears really well. There. there we go. It's probably going to be a couple of parter, or unless I just do, do um, maybe I should do it like that. No, I don't want to because that's going to have the edge on it. Okay. Have another tiny little bit of this. Sorry, you probably can't see me right now. Hang tent. Um, I'm just cutting off some of this. Because it's mainly greens and pink. And that tiny little bit of blue. You can't have every colour in there. Okay. Now where is that bit of blue? There we go. And I've got some of this too. That's really pretty. Yep. I might put that on the back. Let's see. Here we go. like that might be nice I might use the pink because I've got quite a bit of that for the for the edge like the binding okay 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 This I have to cut rather than tear, unfortunately. So I'll do that there and I may put it over the top. I think this is a bit bigger than the piece that you would normally get. So we could probably start pinning. Um, Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do is write pins and needles. Okay. Fairly juicy pen. Ooh, too juicy. Um, where's the other one? Here it is. Yes, it's leaking. Not good. Pins. Just do a small end. And then needles. OK. 
Okay. Hopefully, hopefully I'm in camera. So I probably will have to um, uh, may end up having to um, Hmm. So I've got to stitch that and do that and that. My husband's off. He's going book hunting. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. That is bad. I'm gonna to have to do a fairly thick thread. Okay, pins and needles. That works. And so I'm going to have to probably go in a little bit so that it just catches that. Should have thought of that's what happens when you do things on the impromptu on the fly. So what I will do um, Okay, we'll pin that down. There we go. These are nice thick Long needles, put that underneath. And do fairly. Fairly thick, otherwise. Oh, go back down. Move these out of the way. Okay. Um, smaller because it is pretty long put that way upside down pin because we're just going to do a running stitch to hold them together then that'll probably go on the top like that. And I've got that there because I'd like to do a bit of embroidery on top of that. And that can go down. Yeah. and then I'll probably cut that little bit off okay now gonna have that on the end there and I quite like the way that these are a little bit raggedy It'll go like that. Probably up too high now. And then I might have that going on the bottom. And I need something in the middle there. Hmm. Some of you have got this piece, but some of you don't. I'll just
Working out colors. Um, quite like that. Might even put a bit of a yo yo or something along there and then add in that there. Those are the three. Yeah, that works. Okay. There we go. And then I've got, I really do like this. I might even use that to go across there. Um, yeah, that'll work. I might even use this as a closure, like I've got with the other one. And then this will be a pocket on the inside as well as this beautiful fabric. So, bits and pieces everywhere. Okay, let me see, how does that look? Mm, it's looking pretty. I like that. I'll zoom it in just a tad. So, what I could probably do is, and see that's going to be, that'll be the front, and it'll be the back, and then that's the little pins and needles thing. Okay, there you go. How pretty does that look? So pretty. Now, I've just got, if you want to just get yourself some, um, this is just wool, normal wool felt. I'm probably going to use maybe that one and that one. We'll see, because it's going to be going against the green. So I may end up using those two. We'll see. So, yeah, just normal wool felt that you get from you know your little stash of felt stuff um even wool you know like a wool um a garment that you can just cut up but um so well what i'm going to do now i may um stitch this first or i could probably stitch it well because i have to stitch this while it's on there um i think i might do it while it's on there okay guys well i'll just find some colors what do you think? I've just got myself a new lot of that, and I think I might use that for the pins and needles. And then we're going to use some of that. Got some green, got this green, and some. Oh, I do like this blue. That blue is nice. I think that will be it for now so I'm going to grab myself a needle and thread and use a hmm I'm just wondering whether I use a variegated thread to hold it all down okay just a look sorry guys No, it is not. I think that's for another project. Just bought these the other day, aren't they pretty? Oh, might use that. That's called I think lavender, pink lavender, and larkspur. Um, hmm. What about this one? I think that one might work. It's sort of a bit of a combination of everything. 
that we did want to sew them all together. Now where's my yes. little thingy? So I'll just start off um, sewing it down and then I'll probably come back with another one um, where it's all sewed down. So just um, do some running stitches to hold them all down if you want um, you know do a couple of crosses you know make it really nice like your pieces that you've done for the uh, Roxy's Journal of Creation oh, what am I saying oh. um, yeah I think I'm gonna go I might go that that sort of goes with everything And I probably won't be able to get through the whole thickness of it all because it is fairly thick because it's a quilted piece. Um, but as long as it's being held down, that's the main thing. I mean, there's um, quite a pretty, if you wanted to even keep some of the quilt showing, that would work too. So what I might do is I'll probably even go underneath here. Doesn't really matter if it's not um, you know how it's like it's not on the end there. Oop. Got a few layers to get through. So this is just going to be a bit of a running stitch just to hold it down. not always easy so what I might do is I'll um, I will probably stop this now and then um, come back here once all these bits have been pinned down so you don't have to go all the way through as long as it's just it's caught if you know what I mean see I don't know if it's gone all the way through there but here you can feel it you don't have to go all the way through it makes it a bit easier actually so we'll just catch it along there because we're going to be having um, bias or binding on the around the outside to hold it all together Which is pretty easy to do so okay guys well I'll ugh, finish up to the end here and then I'll come back in the next video once all the the stitching and that is done and I'll show you how to put it all together. Be nice, pretty easy, really. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to, this is permanent ink. You don't even have to um, stitch, but I'm going to do so. I'll just do a back stitch on that. Um, yeah. And then I'll have a bit of fun doing some embroidery on that with really pretty colours. Oh, it's so pretty. I do like the idea of having that on there. I think that looks really nice. That makes it sort of divides it a little bit because you've got all these little bits and pieces and what else have we got we've got you know something like that you've got a couple of these little bits which actually I think I might even you get, you get two of them in the kit um, I might put there and there and maybe put a button or something like that so yeah okay guys well I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching Bye.